Hi friends, I have another craft for you today. Today we are going to make our very own derby hat. Isn't that cute? You can do just about anything on these hats. Like, there's just no way that you can mess these up. Something big and flowy so it'll blow in the wind. See my huge feather? Uh, the derby is the first weekend in May, so we're just going to make our own little hat. I want it on the side. But, isn't that cute? So we're going to do something similar to this. I used flowers. I used some, uh, I don't know if this is tool. This is probably mesh, deco mesh, but you could use tool. That would be cool. Or crinoline. I have big old feather, ribbon. Um, I got the hat at Dollar Tree. And uh, you can use anything. My friend's going to put little mini horses on there. Um, things that flow in the wind. Uh, so anything you want. Great big bows. You can do anything you want. It's super easy. I got a hat at Dollar Tree. It already comes with a ribbon. I'm just going to build on to the ribbon that's already there. Um, but a good idea is to grab some. Now, I tried this and I couldn't get it to work, but I asked a friend of mine who's really crafty. And so this ribbon is sheer ribbon. Oh, it's so pretty. Can't wait to use it for something. Uh, but if you wrap it all the way around your hat, make it bigger than you think you want. And uh, because you're not going on a straight surface, it's kind of angled, uh, that you take the wire from the top part and you pull it out and you scrunch. You gather up just one side and it'll make the ribbon lay flat. So I tried that and she knew exactly what my problem was. Uh, the ribbon wasn't long enough. I fit the ribbon to the size I wanted and then tried that. It didn't work. Make your ribbon bigger, then cut your ribbon bigger than the brim of your hat, and then pull the wire on, hold the wire on the top part and gather it. Gather it around so it'll lay smooth around the brim of your hat or the head part of your hat, whatever you call that. So that's a thought. Um, I'm just going to use the ribbon that came on it because I like it. So I'm just going to use it and build on this. But you can also use tool. You can buy that um, at Dollar Tree even, usually. Um, Walmart or whatever, anywhere you get your craft supplies. And it's on a little spool. And you can wrap that around and make a big old flowy bow. You can do anything you want. I want it on the side. It can be in the front. You can have the hat cocked back and bows coming off the back, but big old feathers in the front. You can decorate on more than one side, which is what I just described. You can do whatever you want to. So, just kind of place it and see what it looks like and then go from there. I got some big fluffy flowers. I'm thinking they're peonies, but I don't know for sure. So I'm gonna grab one of these and put that on this hat and then pop some color in there. Got some wire cutter, get that off. I'm gonna make that my focal over top of the bow part itself. I just want the ribbon. So I need to trim that down further. And then I'm using hot glue. You know the beauty of hot glue is it um, sticks fast, but if you're actually gonna wear this outside, and I do not need this little plastic piece. I just want the flower part itself. Um, if you're gonna wear this outside, you would you would want to probably double up with um, some E6000 or super glue, some other glue in addition. Because if it gets really hot, uh, the hot glue melts, right? That's what's happening. It's in a solid form. We're melting it uh, to make a to make it a liquid form, and then when it cools off, it gets solid again. So, but it sticks really fast, so you can see what your project's gonna look like. See? Then I have, I don't even know what these are, but 
really pretty flowers that I am going to intersperse. All right, let's make sure that's on there nice. Here's a trick, something I did. I cut my flower too close to the end, and so it's uh, trying to fall off, trying to fall into pieces. So I'm just gonna glue it back together. I have extra flowers, so if it's giving me grief, I'll just switch it out, but I don't think so. I think I'm good. Yep, nice and solid. All right, so I am gonna just stick some of these in and around and play with it and see what it looks like. And then I'm gonna show you, I wanna throw another feather in here because I love the effect of this feather. Oh, I like that. So I'm just trimming these off and sticking them in, but I am gonna glue them in. I just wanna see what it looks like first. I might throw in some, uh, oh yeah, I like it. I might throw in some greenery, I don't know yet. This is build as you go. Build as you go. All right, I want one more yellow and then I'll show you what it looks like. So all you're doing is playing. Get your material together. You might think something looks good, put it on there and then you're not liking it. See, isn't that cute? Now, I like that. So, since I like that, I'm gonna take it back off and put some glue on my stems and get it in there. Then I'll show you how I use my deco mesh is what I'm using today. I have some really shimmery tool, but I want the color of the deco mesh. I do with my yellow flower. Oh, they're both right here in my hand. Goodness gracious. All right. Let's put a little bit of glue on there and slide it back in where I pulled it out and hold it in there. Now, all the glue is hiding underneath, so don't be afraid to use a decent amount. We want this thing stable in the wind if we're going to wear this outside. All right, let me put this cute flower in here. I got the feathers. If you're wondering where I got these big old fluffy feathers, I got those at Hobby Lobby. But a friend of mine got some really neat ones that are smaller, but not the teeny tiny ones. But she got some really nice ones that were, I don't know, five inches long at least. Five, six, six, six inches long at Dollar Tree. I didn't see them at my Dollar Tree. But she found them at hers. Oh yeah, I'm liking this. Remember that the hat is wicker. <laughs> my, my hat's wicker or whatever. What is it, canvas maybe? Anyway, my point is it's got holes in it. So be careful with that glue. So here is the mesh I was talking about. And I want to just cut off a strip. I don't even, not even worried about how big that is. There's two ways that I know how to secure this. One is little zip ties, and that's what I'm gonna do for this one. What I did for the first, for my first hat, is I put it together and then put hot glue on it. So let me show you. So I have my mesh. I'm just uh, doing it like a fan, like a paper fan, back and forth and back and forth. Folding it back and forth, gathering just this bottom part like a fan, like I'm, if I'm making a paper fan. And it puts this puff out just like this. See the puff? Put it up against the hat so you can see. See the puff? And then um, I'm gonna zip tie it down here. Make it how tall I want. Zip tie it and cut off the excess. That's what I'm gonna do with this one. What I did with the other one was put some hot glue on the bottom, 
let it cool off a little bit so you won't burn your fingers and then twist it. I think this is a lot easier. Okay, so I tied it up here. I'm gonna expose this part. I'm gonna hide this part. So what I did on this one was I pulled it together. I put some hot glue on the bottom. I waited until it cooled off enough where I could touch and then I twisted, 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 which makes a neat little stem to put in your hat. It was really messy. I'm not a, fa a fan of mess. Woohoo! Um, so, I'm trying zip ties this time. Then I don't need all this extra. So I'm gonna cut some of that off. Just like this. Cool. And then I have to make sure that my zip tie is not seen. So I know where I want it. I want it right here in the middle. So, and then I'll probably want more, depending on what my cute little hat looks like. I mean, my feather. So, I am going to put a smidge on the bottom of this just to make all my little pieces come together. So, I need my finger protectors so I don't kill myself. I'm going to put just a little bit down here on the bottom. It also melts the mesh. The, gel, the glue does. And then I'm going to just pinch it together just to get some of this under control. There we go. Perfect. I'm going to slide some glue in. Or I'll just put it on top. I'm going to put it on my stem. Make sure it's facing the way I want it to go. And I'm going to slide it right in behind my feathers. I mean my feathers. Oh, there you go. There you go. Flowers. In we go. Just like this. Isn't that cute? I'm holding it so the glue will hold. I love it. I love that. So which way is the front of my hat? This is going to be on my side because I like it this way. So it's going to go this way on my side. So I'm going to put another one in the front. I'll show you again how that works. It looks great. You can't see my uh, zip tie. You can't see where I gathered it. It's really nice and solid in there. I'm going to put another one right here to fill up this space and then I'm going to put the, the uh, feather on the other side. And then, what else do I have? I think that's about it. So, again, you can do this any way you want to do it. Lots of choices. This stuff's already curly. I'm going to go back and forth and back and forth like a fan and gather it at the bottom and let it poof out. They all look completely different, which is what I like. Do I want any leaves in here? Let's see. I'm not sure. Let me get this on in the feather and see what I'm looking at. I got uh, different leaves here. Put my zip tie on. Ta-da! Got a little lower on this side because I think I want to lay it down under the bottom. So, get rid of the extra part of my zip tie. If this was black at my zip tie, that'd be even better, wouldn't it? But it's not. Then I think I want to put it up underneath. Oh, yeah. I want to put it right here. So it's kind of at the front. Yep, that's what I want to do. So I think I'll try to glue this down a smidge to control my ends. And that was the whole point of putting glue on here in the first place to tie it all together. But to me, it's a lot easier to hold it with the zip tie first. So you play with it, see what you think. Because you can make them ahead of time and then put them in your hat. So you play with it and see what you think. All right, 
So, where do I want this one? Right in there, I think. So, let's put some glue on here to slide in my head. And slide it in where I want and hold it. See? That's so cute. You press on it so it then so it sticks. Hold it just a second. Make sure it's gonna stay for me. Right behind my other feathers. My feathers. I keep saying that. I am excited about this feather. Right behind my flowers. There it is. Isn't this coming out good? Feather time! Oh my gosh. This is so cute. Nice and flowy. I love the color. I'm gonna cut it up close. I don't need all that stem. Ugh. Okay. And then, like I said before, I'm gonna put it on this back side. How far back do I want it? That's my trick. I don't want it to go, I think I want it to kind of lay sideways. What do you think? I like it. Alright, so I am going to put a bead of glue down the spine. I know where I want to put it in there, spine of my feather. There it goes. I'm gonna move the flowers out of my way and just set it where I want it in there. And then hold it. While it glues and sets up for me. Now remember, it'll go through the back side. So watch your fingers. It's so cute. Both of them look completely different. I love both of them. Oh yeah. Let me get my ribbon down. And there you have it. Here is my, my second one. I love it. That is so cute. There you go. See how different they look, but yet similar because it's my style. So it's gonna go back this way. So the feathers are in the back. Anyway, that's it. That's how easy it is to make a derby hat. Make it any way you want to with whatever you have, whatever you wanna put on it. And I hope you had a good time. I hope you make your own derby hat. And I'll see you next time. Bye.